Welcome back everybody to another video and today talking about the Huawei Honor V10 and pretty much the overall smartphone has some very impressive specs. The overall design is very beautiful and I'll give you some reasons why it's better than the Huawei Mate 10 which is around the $900 to $1000 mark compared to the Honor V10 which is only starting prices at $400 so that's pretty cheap and that's pretty much half the price of the Mate 10. Now the V10 has been announced in China after many rumors about the smartphone has been you know going around for several months and finally it's been out and it gets a lot of attention let's simply go over the design the overall design very much looks similar to the Huawei Mate 10 the very front of the display has a very high screen to body ratio it's edge to edge bezel-less top and bottom has some bezels similar to the Mate 10 the V10 and the Mate 10 both have a physical home button in the very front panel, which is also used as a fingerprint sensor, which is one of the best security features you could get. Another big thing is they both have dual lens cameras. The Mate 10 does have the dual lens vertical cameras that are co-engineered by Leica, along with their AI system and the current 970 chipset. But once again, that is a premium smartphone costing a premium price. While the V10 is really just a more affordable device, it still has a very nice dual lens camera. Huawei will never uh, make their cameras worse just because it's cheaper. It's even putting the current 970 chipset into the Honor V10, which pretty much puts it up to par with the Mate 10. Another big thing about the Mate 10 is it has a very nice design. The V10 also has a very beautiful design, but it has more of an Honor look. Now the Honor 8 by Huawei has a very shiny back, that's very similar to what the V10 has as well. You can see it does some, have somewhat of a shiny look on the back and does also resemble somewhat of an iPhone 7 Plus design as well. Now the pricing is what's the biggest thing about the V10. It's only starting prices at $400 all the way up to $530 which you get a spec out version which is 6 gigabytes of RAM slash 128 gigabytes of storage. Now don't be expecting waterproof or anything like that. But one of the biggest things about a smartphone is you get a headphone jack. So that means you can listen to your favorite music on your wired earbuds. Now, like the Mate 10 Pro, the V10's camera will also adjust settings automatically to shoot the scene or caption with the camera. Now, on the back of the V10, it has a dual lens camera with a 1.8 aperture, a 16 megapixel RGB lens, a 20 megapixel monochrome lens, and the front camera has a 13 megapixels, and apparently it also uses some of the MPU's abilities. So pretty much a lot of the features and the designs look somewhat similar to the Huawei Mate 10 and even some to the Mate 10 Pro. So once again, definitely get the smartphone. In my opinion, it's pretty much up to par with the Mate 10, but at a cheaper price. But if you really love your Leica camera, your AI, and a much you know cleaner and more business-like design, and if you want that split screen as well, go for the Mate 10. But V10, it really just a nice smartphone, gets you through a day. It has pretty good battery too, 3,750 milliamps of battery. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cons below.